This is a deliberately high-profile operation. At ports and airports across the UK, specially trained police officers are on the lookout for potential troublemakers. That's fine, that's fine. We've got them together. Here at Heathrow, they're scanning passports and checking them against the police national computer. They're looking for any of the more than 3,000 England supporters who've been issued with football match banning orders. In previous operations, nobody has gone abroad subject to a banning order. What that means for the travelling England fans, they can rest assured that while they're out there, the really nasty people who shouldn't be at football matches aren't out there in South Africa spoiling the good name of England fans. This man was arrested in the West Midlands, one of dozens who've breached their banning orders by not handing their passports into the police. But such breaches, it seems, are in the minority. Police say the message is getting out. Here at Heathrow Airport, for instance, no one who's been issued with a football banning order has tried to get through these police checks. But of course, it's not just about those who are banned. Supporters with a history of violence or involvement in football-related trouble are also being targeted. These scenes were filmed by a British police spotter team during an England friendly in Amsterdam last year. As a result of this video evidence, those involved have now been banned from the World Cup. And the authorities are warning anyone involved in football-related trouble, wherever they are, face the prospect of banning orders. Football banning orders can be extended to any football-related incident, so there should be a very clear message that if you're thinking about going to an event, we want people to enjoy the World Cup, but to do so responsibly and not let it get out of hand. Brilliant. Thank you, fellas. Cheers. All of the fans we spoke to at Heathrow seemed happy with the additional checks, which will stay in place as long as England are in the tournament. The explicit warning that anyone with a banning order trying to sneak out of the country faces the prospect of being barred from future matches for up to 10 years. Mark White, Sky News, Heathrow Airport.